it's uh, very important uh, for the team to kind of fight off their runs in the in the first and second halves. Uh, uh, tell me about you know the role that that X played in that and you played in that in terms of sharing the ball. Uh, yeah, I mean that's a good team we played against. Um, and uh, I think me and X, we got into like a little ball screen thing. Uh, you see Trace and X do it all the time. But uh, you get X or Fino in a ball screen, and you set a good screen, you're going to make something happen. They'll make the play for you. So, I mean, it was really just X playing, and uh, he made the plays. So. It's kind of not just about this game, but just through the first five games, I imagine there's been some good, some bad. Where do you feel like this team is defensively as a unit that basically led the Big Ten in a lot of those metrics last year? Um. I think we're, we're doing good. I think uh, uh, when we get all our pieces together, we have Trace protecting the rim. I mean, you've seen JG blocking a whole bunch of shots today. Uh, but I still think we can get better. And uh, I think we work on it every day in practice. Uh, and then, I mean, again, I think we'll be better. I think it just takes time when we have four freshmen that are playing minutes. And when they play minutes, I mean, they just got to still learn every day, every game. And I think these games are helping them learn. Yeah, Rach, just wanted to, first of all, what exactly happened? Was it elbow? And then I got, I got a follow-up. What, what happened? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I didn't really see the replay. I think it was somebody's elbow, but I, I don't know. I got a, just a big old gash right here, but I'm good. And then, obviously, you have Jackson State, but everybody in college basketball has talked about IU versus number one Carolina a week from today. How confident are you that you guys are going to be fully healthy, you know, really ready to go for that one? Very confident. Um, we knew we had it. We know we have a deep team, and uh, I think Tra if Trace needed to go today, he could have went. Uh, I think it was more precautionary for him. And I mean, you've seen what we can do with and without him, so I think that's why this team is special. Jalen, you uh, obviously Trace is an important part of this team, but uh, going out tonight, you guys seemed like you didn't really miss a beat in regards to what you wanted to run and, and getting guys in good spots. I mean, how important was that just to keep the train rolling? I mean, yeah, with Trace out, that's a you know big part of what we got here. So. I think today, obviously, as everyone's seen, uh, Race and Xavier were great tonight, um, especially in that pick and roll actions. You know, they made plays, and you know, I think they stepped up as our seniors and really led us tonight. Jalen, just through five games, how do you feel like you're adjusting to just the, the, the pace of play overall at this level? And what do you feel like going forward maybe you need to get better at? Uh, yeah, um, it's still early. Um, I haven't really shot the ball too well, but I'm not too worried. Um, like you said, it's early. so. I'm just going to continue to stay in the gym, just keep working. And like Ray said, you know, I'm still young, my freshman, so I'm still learning on the fly every day. So, you know, as the year goes on, I'll get better. Race, this is a bigger picture question, but the last two seasons of college basketball have just been weird because of COVID, um, not normal. I guess, what's the biggest thing you have learned from those two seasons in terms of just your perspective changing it and being able to have a season like now um, where, you know, things are pretty much normal. I guess, how has your perspective just changed on maybe just the little things about basketball and life? That's a deep question. Uh, I mean, you just, like, you got to be grateful uh, every day. I mean, playing for, and during the COVID, I mean, that was hard. I mean, you guys remember that we're doing media, and it's just us sitting here with a camera in the back. Uh, and I think just being grateful, just being able to be around everybody, being able to have fans, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, just just being grateful every day because, I mean, it can be taken away in a split second. I guess this, this is kind of for both of you guys, but you guys had your first road trip now. You guys have had a lot of time spent together, I guess. How how would you assess your guys' team chemistry through your first five games or so now? Great. Um, I would say great. I mean, I've been a part of a lot of teams uh, here at IU, and uh, we've had teams be clicky. We've had – all types of things, and uh, I don't think we have that at all this year. Um, <clears throat> I mean, everybody sits with everybody. Uh, and again, we're all joking around, laughing in the locker room. I mean, we have a really tight-knit group, so that's, it's, it's a lot of fun to be around them. Yeah, I mean, Ray's pretty much nailed it on the spot. I think we all have great chemistry off the court, and on the court, I think it shows, so, um, yeah. Jalen, uh, how important is it for you to be able to be on the court to fight through things? I mean, you mentioned your shot isn't falling. Uh, tonight it wasn't going great for the team at times, but you know everybody kind of got to ride it out. How important is that for you as you're getting used to playing at the college level? Yeah, um, like just honestly, just adjusting. Um, 
like you said, I started off a little slow, not hitting shots, but I feel like my game, I can kind of do everything. If my shot's not falling, I can get others involved. I can rebound the ball, defend. So, you know, I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I'm in the gym every day, so eventually those shots are going to fall. But right now, it's not hurting us. You know, everyone's playing well. Like tonight, our seniors, you know, let us. So everything worked out good.